What about, doc, I don't have a gallbladder, I can't eat fat. Right. And so I've had that question hundreds of times on the Facebook Lives that we do. Yeah. And then, and so I'll have that question, like, I don't have a gallbladder, I can't, I can't do keto, right? And then I have uh, about 80 to 150 people chime in in the comments and say, no, I don't have a gallbladder and I'm doing great. And so we have all these N equals one experiments, right? All this anecdotal evidence but you yourself know when you've got, a, uh, you know, a thousand anecdotes, uh, that's probably something you should pay attention to. Yeah. And so I, I, don't, I think if you don't have a gallbladder, you can eat low carb. I think if you, do, if you have uh, thyroid problems, you need to eat low carb. If you have fatty liver, you absolutely must eat low carb to reverse that. Um, gastro bypass, yes, you can eat keto low carb. You could just keep asking me the questions. And so <clears throat> that's why I've started calling it the proper human diet because right. then it makes that question silly. Hey, Doc, I don't have a gallbladder. Can I eat the proper human diet? And you're like, <laughs> think about your question. Right. Yes, of course you can. Yeah. yeah. And so now when they say, I have X, can I eat the proper human diet? It, it becomes a silly question. Of course you should eat the proper human diet. I'm sorry that you had that, the misfortune of having one of your body parts taken out by a surgeon that you may or may not have needed done, but you still need to eat the proper human diet because that's what we're talking about here. Right. Do you... Do you coach people to sort of ease into it at different levels maybe if they don't have a gallbladder or if they have kidney disease or if they have some other medical conditions as opposed to somebody who just wants to lose weight and jump into it? Or can everybody transition the same? I think the transition period can be different for different people. And I think for some people it probably needs to be different. Yeah. Uh, as an, If you're treating a, a severe alcoholic, there are some alcoholics who are young and healthy. You can just Put them, you know, put them in rehab in cold turkey them, and it's yeah. perfectly safe to do that. And you know that as a doctor. There are other very sick alcoholics who you run the risk of seizures and, and electrolyte abnormality, all kinds of stuff. And so you might wean them slowly yeah. over a month or two. But both of those guys need to stop the alcohol because they're alcoholics. Same goes for eating lots of carbs and sugars and industrial seed oils. Some people might feel terrible and you might increase the risk of having certain things if they transition too quickly. It doesn't mean they shouldn't eat the proper human diet. It just means they might need to take a month or two or yeah. three. And for some people, it's a social thing. None of their family's on board with this. And so if they if they did an overnight change, it would just destroy the household dynamic. And right. so they can't do that. Other people who are young and metabolically healthy, I think they can switch to low carb overnight. I think there's zero danger of doing that. Um but yeah, I think different people should come at this with different speeds, mm -hmm. just like some alcoholics need to wean slower than others. Good.